Everyone ready? Three, two, one, go. Heavy duty ropes, mini trampolines, balancing acts, and one on one boxing makes up this week's session of Cirque to Kevin. 65 years young. Show us how, Lynn. Show them how to do it. Or at least that's what Lynn Parton calls it, having punched off 55 pounds in five months with Kevin Campbell as her personal trainer. I feel refreshed. I feel probably the most fit I've ever been in my life. A girl. Excellent. I'm keeping them mentally sharp. I'm keeping them happy and getting them results, because when we're getting results, we, that's motivating. And watching his clients have full control of their body is motivating for Kevin, because when it comes to his body, it's a different story. One, stop. I do work, rest, dialysize, rest. Three days a week, five hours at a time, Kevin goes to dialysis. He was first diagnosed with kidney disease 16 years ago when he was living in Ibiza, Spain. He went to the hospital, but doctors operated on him unknowingly, which gave him serious doubts about Spain's healthcare system. And they gave me a general anesthetic and I woke up on a bed in San Doreto Hospital in Palma, Mallorca with uh, a seven inch incision to my body. They didn't re-sew up my back. I ended up uh, having to go to intensive care and uh, I just about died. Kevin was torn about coming back to Canada because in Spain, everyone's an organ donor unless you opt out. Unlike Canada, where everyone's out until they opt in. And less than 19% of British Columbians have taken the time to register. So Canadian doctors told Kevin it could take over a decade before he even gets a kidney. But that didn't stop Kevin and neither did the thought of becoming a tough mutter. They say that wasn't possible to be done. And when you tell me something's not possible, I always try to like to push the boundaries. And then I uh, wanted to use that process to teach the young kids that will be interested in hearing about Tough Mudder and the kidney and the organ donor. He is the first person on dialysis to do this. He needs a kidney, that's no joke. But the brother kept coming. First person on dialysis. I'm married to this machine, hey? I am married to this machine. It's the process. And I want to get a divorce. Luckily for Kevin, his divorce from the dialysis machine should be coming soon because he has a live donor, Patty Holm, a fitness client who's become a close friend. And I actually had somebody say that to me that they would only donate to their spouse or to their children or a family member, but not to a friend. And that those are just their boundaries on giving and I don't have those boundaries on giving. If I can make a difference in someone's life, why wouldn't I? Apparently, it's always the left one that they take. Well, let's get that left one moving. <laughs> <laughs> this surgery was originally scheduled for mid-January, but it's been bumped for now. But Kevin can hardly wait to begin living his dialysis-free life and finally be reunited with his daughters, Ava and Julia, who are still living in Spain. I said, Julia, my transplant's been cancelled. And she goes, oh, Daddy, I'm very sad for this. And, and I said, you know, Julia, I'm getting very tired of this dialysis, you know, and I'm feeling a bit sorry for myself, being a poor me. And she says to me straight up, Daddy, you can be tired or dead. What do you want to be? It was, uh, it was just what I needed to hear. In Victoria, I'm Jen Moranitz.